Slash ask Reddit. You gain control of JK Rowling's Twitter account for a day. What unnecessary piece of information do you add to Harry Potter lore? Witches and wizards have microscopic beings called magi chlorians that live within their bodies which grant them access to magic. Voldemort was voluntarily circumcised at the age of 18. Sectum's Emperor. I won't lie, I laughed out loud. But I still feel like this was a missed opportunity for Circumsempera. Hagrid shaves all his body hair from the neck down. Alternately, Hagrid has no hair from the neck down, and he doesn't need to shave. He's just, totally smooth. Like a porpoise. Stupid exe Hagrid he also wears a fat suit to hid the fact that it's only his but that's enormous. After book 2 and the polyjuice experiments Ron and Hermione permanently switched places. Blimey Hermione. Bloody hell. Dang. That's the one I should have gone with. Hagrid tried foe and didn't really care for it. This is so delightfully pointless. I love it. Voldemort doesn't have a butthole after resurrection. He's like a smooth Ken doll down there. I don't think I could top the post she made about wizards disappearing their poo with magic before muggles invented toilets. There's a witch writer called KJ Lowring famous for her muggle book series Harold Rogers where the protagonist engages in wacky muggle adventures. Edit. 48 inbox notices and not one Hogwarts letter. With sidekicks Roberta Beasley and Herman Danger. A wacky muggle adventure written from the perspective of a witch sounds like an amazing children book. The My Immortal fanfic is now 100% canon. Thank you, JKR. Fred and George Weasley switched places during the Battle of Hogwarts. When George died, Fred adopted George's life complete with cutting off his ear because he figured George wouldn't want him to spoil the joke. The protagonist was actually the flying car and everything after is just epilogue. The Forbidden Forest is forbidden because Dumbledore and Hagrid have an illegal grow-up hidden inside. The Wizarding School is a front to launder money. And nobody is actually at a magic school at all. They are all just stoned. George Weasley was adopted. Not Fred though. One of my favorite quotes from any piece of Harry Potter media comes from an interview of the actors who played Fred and George. So, are you two actually twins in real life No, It's funny. We actually met at the audition. That line kills me every time. I actually always envisioned Dumbledore aggressively asking Harry, maybe even yelling, if he put his name in the Goblet of Fire. Harry did you put your name in the Goblet of Fire Dumbledore asked calmly. The sorting hat was 100% unnecessary for class distribution. Its primary purpose was to get rid of head lice. When you're using the invisible cloak you're not actually invisible you're naked they just choose to ignore you as to not make things awkward. That explains why Fudge and Malfoy send Hagrid straight to Azkaban without a trial in book 2 when they walk into Hagrid's hut while Harry and Ron are hiding. Alright so we are just going to give him a warn why are there two naked kids huddled in a corner the frick Hagrid Azkaban it is. Hagrid's dog Fluffy and Mrs. Norris were lovers. The goblins at Gringotts don't have children. They just randomly split one day during a mitosis like process and then go about their days. Their suits are part of this process my amazing SO. In order to have the feast so lovingly described, House Elves of Hogwarts had perfected the art of reusing leftovers multiple times. They secretly go to cheap restaurants and learn from muggles. Recently they discovered internet, and now Dean Thomas's mother prints out for them every tip and trick she can find at frugal living blogs. Twilight is absolutely in the same universe. How does that explain Cedric Diggory? Cedric converts to vampirism from magicism. Nah, when he died he turned into a vampire. Oh, that's exactly what I meant by conversion. Voldy kills Cedric. He adopts the Edward avatar when Corral Cullen resurrects him. I would 100% post that meme JK Rowling reveals that you, the reader, were gay all along. But besides that, I would talk about the required procedure behind the pre-plumbing crapping wherever you want then making it disappear thing. Also, what the heck JKR? Why couldn't they have had magical outhouses? Why did it have to get weird? Harry and Ron use some of Hermione's hair plus polyjuice potion to kill some time in the dormitories. 
That was great, Ron. I promise I'll be Hermione next time. You always say that. Time to close Reddit. That the cauldron Voldemort was rebirthed in during Goblet of Fire used to belong to Horace Sloan. It was gifted to his favorite student, Tom Riddle, the year Riddle left Hogwarts. Harry's favorite finger, for no particular reason, is his left index finger. Also, inexplicably, that's Ginny's as well. And strangely enough, Ginny's left index finger is Harry's favorite. Inexplicably. The Humping Willow was gay. A scene after the Deathly Hallows ending, revealing paramedics pulling a limp 11-year-old Harry Potter from the cupboard under the stairs, and resuscitating him from carbon monoxide poisoning due to the leaky furnace. Young Harry says I had the most wonderful dream. I was a wizard, Uncle Vernon exclaims, you're going to pay for the rescue wagon, and you probably broke the furnace too. Aunt Petunia calls him an insufferable child. Dudley laughs while eating an entire pie, calls Harry a wanker. There is a Wizarding World version of magic, the gathering called Muggles, the congregation. Edit, thanks for the gold kind stranger. I'll tap 3 to play my plane walker, Gavin the accountant triggering the effect off my Derek from HR adding 1 plus 1 plus 1 counter to every office worker on the battlefield. I end my turn. Harry wakes up in Hogwarts and everyone is gone for Christmas vacation when he has to defend the school from being robbed by Joe Pesci and Daniel Stern. Edit, Silver? Dang, thanks Yarl. Smiley face. Ron grew up to become Ed Sheeran. Fred came back as a ghost, but only ever shows up to mess with George when no one else is around as part of an ongoing prank on his early brother. Neville's frog is gay. That's turning the freaking frogs gay. I'm sick of Dumbledore putting magic in the water that's turning the frickin' frogs gay. Dealing with the rogue flying car in the Forbidden Forest falls under the purview of the misuse of Muggle Artifacts office, and is therefore Arthur Weasley's job. Arthur Weasley, after hearing Ron's and Harry's accounts of its behavior, is too scared to deal with it, and years later his successor is given the file in his onboarding package. He, as well, is too scared to deal with it, even with fresh reports of sightings in the Greater Hogsmeade area. It is only when his successor's assistant, a hot-headed great-grandchild of Hermione Granger, finds the file while on temporary administrative punishment duty that something is done. He spends his entire one-month probationary period backpacking in the Forbidden Forest, after a tense standoff with the centaurs, to hunt the wayward automobile. He returns with a rusted hood ornament, a shift knob, and a car battery, nearly unrecognizable in the half a century of corrosion, as proof of his conquest. The hood ornament is mounted outside the office door forever after. Gandalf is Dumbledore's cousin. I think she already said Merlin is his great granddad or some crap, lol. Definitely a family affair. So is Saruman related as well? Fred and George were never twins. George perfected a double illusion technique while in utero so he could be more effective at pulling pranks. He got tired of maintaining the illusion and took the Battle of Hogwarts as an opportunity to end the illusion by killing Fred. Dobby's butthole has the same properties as a bag of holding and can expand to accommodate any object no matter the girth. There are an unfortunate number of fanfics that would suddenly become canon compliant, were this the case. Every piece of lore I've added to the Harry Potter world via Twitter was a mistake and should not be taken seriously. I support minority representation, but at the time, I was more focused upon finding success than wielding power I did not yet have. Nagini is not a nation woman. Hermione was always envisioned as white. Dumbledore was not originally conceived as gay I never had the courage to explicitly make Dumbledore gay because of fear of backlash. I have unintentionally weakened the support of all minority groups by attempting to inject association with those groups, retroactively, and I deeply apologize. I'm also ending the Fantastic Beasts franchise. I was underprepared and the scripts have gone completely awry. It was ambitious of me to try to make another franchise from source material that was effectively a fun reference material and a chance for me to make up fun little creatures in my world building. I will return to creating these fun little creatures because that's what I'm most passionate about. I would cry from relief if this was on her Twitter tomorrow. 
I hate how backwards she has to bend to support her ridiculous claims. Each tweet brings new fear that she'll further sully my memories of the books and movies. She needs to stop being famous, or start growing up. Potter Puppet Pals is now canon. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. If you enjoyed the content, be sure to leave a like, and don't forget to subscribe as well for more Reddit stories like this. Until next time.